Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 1st to the 15th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Now before we begin this reading, Scorpio, let us ask God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, to bless us to guide us forward in peace, harmony, and love, keeping all that is hurtful and hateful from us. Now let's see what energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so we need to be very aware that our emotions can be on overdrive during this time. God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us a gift of love and of healing, but there's also going to be a rawness that comes with it. There's a vulnerability here that we need to be aware of, and it's going to be very intense for us. So just, again, be aware of it, understand it, and don't let it knock you off your game because our gift, our sign that we're represented by in the minor arcana is the cups. So when we're told that our hearts are going to be very sensitive, that the ace of cups is something that we have to be aware of, there's an intensity to our emotions that can knock us off our game, that can keep us off track. So we have to just be 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 aware of this, be very, very diligent when it comes to us understanding our feelings and us connecting with our emotions because they can just take over. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. And one bonus card. Okay. So we have the eight of pentacles. We have the page, not the page, the queen of wands, the wheel of fortune, the six of wands, and the page of swords. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The queen of wands represents fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Our bonus core card is the Six of Cups. We have to be very, very aware of spending too much time looking in the past, looking at the once upon a times or thinking that, oh, because this happened in the past, it's going to happen in the present. So just be very aware of that. It can make us a little bit too paranoid with certain things. And it can also make us too trusting with others. Like, oh, I trust this person once upon a time or, you know, this person was good to me once, they'll be good to me again. So here it can also... It can also be like, oh, this person betrayed me or somebody who acted like this person betrayed me. So we're going to go a lot off of what happened once upon a time in the past. And Spirit is saying here, you're not living in the past, you're living in the present. We have to acknowledge the past, 
but we can't be ruled by it. And it will be so easy during this time to just be ruled by the past that it'll t it'll discolor everything. It really will. We are working so hard. There is so much change that's being brought forward. We're starting to see our magic, our intentions, our desires, what we want. We're starting to see the power within ourselves in a very big way, in a very opened way. Now, there's a sense here that we're starting to realize our victories, celebrate our successes, be more confident and assured of ourselves. We are also being students of our voice, of what we need to say, of what we desire, of standing up for ourselves, of saying no, of setting boundaries. But we're also being a student of our mind and curiosity. And we're going to find that we dive deeply into things during this time. This is a time where we can really embrace study or really embrace, you know, just learning about things and talking with people and connection is going to be so important. We're coming to things with such a new air and such a new hope that it's going to be a very big thing. We are working so hard that our work, our eye on the goal, you know, can take over everything. And because we're going into the holiday season, you know, during this time is part of the holiday season, of course, there is, there's a sense here that it can be colored by, I have to work, I have to do this, I have to do that. Now, we do have to work, we do have to, you know, provide and, and, and do what needs to be done. But we need to be very mindful of, of not letting that overshadow everything, and not letting ourselves become so intense about, you know, it's like about molding things. So getting things just, just right. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what spirit is saying. It doesn't have to be perfect. And yet during this time, we're going to think, oh my gosh, it has to be perfect. It has to be just, just right. And this can even be with wrapping gifts or, you know, picking out gifts for, per for anybody, for people. We want everything to be perfect. And spirit is saying, just be very mindful of that because it'll take away the joy. It'll take away the beauty. We need to work. We need to pay attention. We need to be on top of our game yes most definitely but we also need to remember that we're human and we need to give ourselves a break make sure that we're resting make sure that we're taking care of ourselves the queen of wands i always see the queen of wands as hecate the goddess of magic in greek mythology and there is such a sense here of embracing our passion and embracing what we desire but there's also the goddess hestia that's coming up and the goddess hestia i believe in greek mythology was the one who stepped down she's the goddess of the hearth right? And she became a minor, a minor goddess instead of being a major goddess, because, you know, there wasn't, there was an unequal amount of male and female gods. And so there was going to be a whole big war, they just finished having a whole big war. And she's like, No, you know what, I'm stepping down, and I'm embracing something more quiet, more peaceful, but more true to me. And so because she did this, she was worshipped in every single house, she was, you know, put at every single hearth. And though she wasn't one of the main players that we hear about all the time, she was still vitally important to the day-to-day -day lives of, of the Greeks and then eventually of the Romans. So what we're going to see here is just because it isn't plastered on the walls, you know, it isn't up in neon lights, it doesn't mean it's unimportant. And when we ourselves embrace our magic, our passion, our desire, everybody doesn't have to see it. Everybody doesn't have to even understand it. But it's going to be very important for us. We're changing, we're changing the way of things. We're entering into a new season. And because we're entering into a new season, we're entering into a new way of us embracing who we are and what we want and what we desire and what we're looking for. And there needs to be a bit of a celebration with that. Even if this isn't a season that we are like, oh, yippee, you know, this is happening now. We need to, we need to be confident within ourselves. We need to be passionate within ourselves. We need to be powerful within ourselves. And as we do this, we start to gain a better understanding. We start to learn so much more than what we have ever learned before. We start to understand in a bigger sense of the word, of who we are and what we want, and how we hold our head up high and what we're going after. And that's just going to be very important to us. We can also have people say things or read something or, or you know, watch something in passing. And it just has such an effect. Media is going to have a big effect on us, Scorpio. And it's going to be very personal, but it's going to be like, oh, Okay, I get the message. Like, okay, I see it. I understand it now. Thank you. So let's dive just a little bit deeper. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so what's interesting here is, again, we're starting with the bonus cards. With the six 
of cups that puts us in the past. And then we have the hermit energy, which is also Virgo energy coming forward. This can very much make us want to retreat. The past can be so real, real. The past can be so overpowering that we're like, no, I'm done. I'm good. Thank you. And yeah, that's okay. That's okay to do that. You know, it's our fight, flight, or, you know, is it fight, flight, or freeze or something like that? It's kind of like placate. But here, it's like, it's not time to turn away anymore. We just have to be very aware. This is going to be a reaction. It's like, oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh. Like, I just want to hide away. And spirit is saying, it's time to embrace us. It's time to embrace who we are and what we want and and what we desire. It's it's not time to hide. It is time to connect with us. We need to turn into ourselves and, and connect with ourselves and see ourselves and love ourselves. But hiding away? Mm-mm. No. There is something that we're working towards and that we're working so diligently at and hard at and, and, and intensely at. And some people are going to think we're absolutely foolish. Like, you know, it's kind of like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And here, it's like, because I'm on the path to something more. Remember, every single hero's journey begins with a person being the fool, begins with them being laughed at. And it doesn't mean that we have to become Hercules, because seriously, who would want to be? But it means that we are becoming us. And we are embracing the power and the beauty and the instincts and the understanding of us. And instead of cowering down to everybody else, or instead of, you know, having our dreams mold into what somebody else or everybody else wants us to be, we are looking at what we need to be for us. And there's a sense of embracing our passion, the ace of, of wands with the queen of wands. We're embracing and taking our passion. God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us a gift, a passion of creativity, of insight, of ideas, of understanding. This is the fire. This is the torch in the darkness. So even when we do turn in, we don't turn in and see all the monsters and the scary. We turn in and we say, oh, <laughs> oh, you know, that's the filing cabinet. Oh, that's where I left that book. Oh, you know, that's, you know, a lamp. So don't be scared. Don't be scared. There's an illumination that's coming. There's an insight that's coming. There's a passion that's here. We get to embrace it now. We get to embrace it instead of being like, oh, you know, it's too much. And there's also a sense of Scorpio us thinking, you know, oh, I'm too much. You know, I'm too much for everybody. I'm just too dramatic or intense or, or whatever your, your word is for being too much. Why not just be that much? You know, not in a negative sense, not in a sense where you bring everybody down and, you know, everything is just like a trauma drama all the time. That's not healthy. But you get to be who you are. And if some people don't like that, that's okay. The Page of Swords is, this is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is, is the hero of the story. It's also air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Things are changing. Things are changing in our words and how we say things and how we're connecting. But we're also learning how to be the hero of our story. How to be the hero of what we want and take the reins and go after. But remember, the Knight of Swords has a tendency to speed off too fast, of heading forward without fully thinking things through. We need to think it through. We need to see it. We need to understand it. Because we ourselves here are just learning how to celebrate us. With the page of cups and, and the six of swords. We are just learning six of wands. We are just learning how to celebrate who we are and what we want and where we're going and what we desire. We're represented by the cups in the minor arcana. That's why our emotions here, they're, they're overwhelming. They're so intense. And we're learning. We're learning so much from embracing, opening our hearts. From saying, it's okay to feel. It's okay to connect. It's okay to get angry. It's okay to be happy. You know, it's okay to be. And it brings us to the page of wands with the page of swords. We are a student of our words, but we are a student of our passion. We are embracing so much, but we are also learning so much. We are opening up doors. We are understanding how to turn those keys. We are understanding how to unlock what we desire. We are understanding us more and more. We can also have a spark starting. We're starting something, we're seeing something, we're, we're getting an understanding of something. And it's like, well, what can it be? What can I be if only I let myself? If only I embrace my voice. If only I embrace what I de desire. If only I let myself. What can I be? Very, very strong fire sign energy is coming forward here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
if you're born on the cusp with Sagittarius, if you have this within your chart, this part of your personality is coming out very, very powerfully. If you have these people in your lives, their words will echo like a gong within you. They will be so much more than what they usually are. And you're going to be like, well, why can't I tune this person out? Or why do they have so much say? Because it's important now. It doesn't mean that they have to be totally important. It means that listening is going to be very important to us. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is another ace. It's the ace of wands. We have a lot of passion coming forward here. And we can become a little bit too angry, a little bit too intense, a little bit too fiery, a little bit too much. Just be aware of that. Our subconscious tarot message is the king of cups, which is us. And the five of wands. The five of wands is embracing every battle. Subconsciously, we can have a really hard time letting things go. And we see that here. We see that in the past coming forward so powerfully and wanting to hide away. But we can want to embrace every battle. We can think, oh my gosh, I just have to fight. You know, I just have to, you know, do this. And the king of, of cups is us saying, no, I have to lead by example. And I have to lead in a way that is true to me. Embracing my heart and what I love and who I am. And if I don't do that, then I am not truly going to be myself during this time. The king of cups is not concerned with everybody else. He says, I lead by example. And you can follow, and that's great. But I need to follow my heart, my meditation, my peace, my understanding. All right, all right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio. And may blessings, prosperity, and peace always be with you. God bless.